In this session, we're going to talk about how to use Race Render to combine a bunch of video files. So you had a whole weekend of racing. You need to put that in a single video file so it's easier to manage. Uh, this is the best way to do it. So I just open up Race Render. And I click Sample Video. I don't put any. We're not trying to put any sort of overlays on it at this point. We're just trying to um, get it going here. Um, so you select Add Video, and I will basically find my file here, and this will be uh, on your SD card. And what I would do is I would essentially find the video files that I know I need to look at. Uh, so I know that this is my first video file. This is just a test video that I've kind of put together here. So you find that first video file and you press OK. Uh, you don't really need to worry about this. So this is just set up on my desk here. Um, so what you see here is that, say, your first video file, first of the weekend, uh, you know, your first session out, and maybe you had like three video files. It was a longer session and there was multiple ones there. So what you do, so you just have that one, you just hit add, and we go back, to, pops up back to that folder, and then we go 11, let's see if it'll let you select multiples, it will, perfect. So I'm just holding shift here, and I'm selecting multiple files, you hit OK, and then all those files there will be uh, linked up. And you can see by default, Race Render sort of puts these picture in picture. The trick is you select them, and there are instructions on Race Render site how to do this as well, but you basically select them and then you hit join. And in doing so, these just load sequentially. So this works with Mobius, Replay, GoPro, any kind of camera source you have. Uh, essentially all you're doing is saying this is the first one and then any ones loaded after that, uh, typically numerically, um, will be in sync. So at that point all you need to do is go ahead and create video. Uh, we don't really need to save this. So this create video file will pop up. You'll have different options here. I'm just choosing 640 draft. I mean, you can put it at a higher resolution, whatever you need. Uh, typically, it's on a, a better or in a 1080p. But since it's just a test here, we'll do that. I'll hit create video. It'll ask me where I want to put it. I'll just go back down here to my drive. Uh, I'll put combined two as a test and it's already set up as an mp4 output and I'll hit save and it will begin uh, uh, writing these videos together. As you can see the ETA on this particular one is three hours because it's uh, six or um, excuse me three files that are each four gig and that's standard across the board. Unfortunately XFAT doesn't really seem to work because all the cameras are still trying to work with older operating systems. Uh, we've tried the Mobius, Replay, GoPro, uh, everything out there to use XFAT, which XFAT would allow you to record a, uh, in theory, a video that is one long file. But in reality, that still doesn't actually seem to work, even with using like 64 gig cards that are formatted properly and everything. So we found that this is sort of the best way, uh, the easiest workaround uh, to get that. And this will load right into Track View, uh, Track Studio, um, to allow you to play this single video with your data. And then you can obviously use it to create overlays as well. So I'll show you that part next here. Okay, now we're going to jump over here to Track Studio. So I've opened my session file. I want to just file open. This is a test file. I'm doing some drifting around my office here, as you can see. Um, so first thing we need to do is, this is three hours later, 
uh, we'll go ahead and hit setup, which will bring up the setup menu. This is a kind of a large file, so it'll take a second. Um, these would be typically your laps. This is obviously a test session, so it's got a lot of different uh, gibberish here. Um, but one trick to sort of to realize, and this may help some of you out there who work with video a lot, is if you hit all, all will select everything, even incomplete laps and things like that. And what that will allow you to do is you can open any video at any point. It doesn't have to be synced. It doesn't have to be anything. If you ever get a, a video that has like a black window for some reason, if you hit all, you'll be able to pull that video up and sort of manipulate it from there. So that's a little trick there. Um, but I'll just select a video here, just like you normally would, and you hit OK. And it's going to pop up a video. Uh, typically, it would pop up an open file video, so I'll show you what that would look like. Uh, so this is our video that we I created there, combined. You hit OK and pop it up. As you can see, the video is kind of black here, but if you actually move it back to the start, always you can always move it back to the start, and that tends to sort of reset things. So if you you see it over here and it starts out and it's black, just, just slide this back to the start and that'll get it there. So that's how you do that and then you can look at all your different uh, you know graphs and things like you normally would. Um, you know next to the video you can put the gauges over it and compare that and that's going to be all one nice long video. That way you don't have to do any uh, any breaking up of anything. We'll just hit best here for a second see how this does and then it pops up and you can kind of see there just how you would normally analyze your video and data your video is going to be there uh, show dash that kind of thing um, and you can also write a video with this I still highly recommend race render for writing videos uh, this uh, track studio video creations uh, just hasn't really been able to keep up with all the video formats and honestly race render just does a much better job of creating that uh, allows you to combine videos like you saw earlier do picture in picture and um, it's just a much more versatile program and it's really uh, you know it's been designed from the ground up to be a video creation program whereas track studio is really a video and data analysis program with an addition of the uh, creation on there so uh, this will eventually pop up here this is a, like I said a six gig uh, or more size file, so it'll take a second. But uh, you'll be able to write your video out um, just like you normally would, um, or use Race Render to uh, create that. But uh, this video is mainly to show you how to combine multiple videos into a single session, and that way you can look at a long, longer race. Um, you know, really jump around to say a longer lap farther in without having to go through and find a certain video that might be associated with that lap, things like that. So I hope that helps uh, and uh, look forward to giving you more tips in the future. And uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, shoot us an email at support at trackmate.com and we will answer it promptly. And uh, if you have any video suggestions uh, that you'd like to see, let us know and we'll go from there. All right. Thank you.